Hey everybody, um, I know it's been a minute, huh? A long one, how about a year and almost a year and a half. Um, so I thought I should do an update. I had a, one of my friends, <laughs> it just blew my mind. He sent me an email this morning, or a, a comment, you know, he used my page to do it. He sent me a comment, the only thing he said on is, you need to get back on here. So I'm back on here. Uh, I wanted to update you guys. This is not going to be a short video. For those that don't care, you can move on. But this is the deal, guys. Um, I'm just going to go through a list, and I want you to accept the fact that we're grieving, we're having issues, and my channel is not my number one priority. But I will try to start making it much more of a priority, okay? Even my wife wants me to, so we're going to do our best. So here's the deal. You guys knew on my last video, I believe, I told you that my mom just died. When I made that video, she had died just a couple days, weeks before I made the video. So she died in October, and it's been just a tad over a year, as you know. This is November. So that happened. Well, just saying, I don't care what anybody thinks. Yeah, I was a mama boy. I was a mama's boy. I loved my mom immensely. We were exceedingly close, and it was very difficult to deal with, um, especially how she died. Uh, septus, which uh, the hospital didn't even know she had until the second day. Um, they should have done a blood test and a urine test. Like, I always got to go piss in a jar and do a blood test. She should have done that, and they should have, and they didn't. And by the time they found out she had septus, it was so invading her body that it was too late. And she died that afternoon. She went in in the morning. She died the next day in the afternoon. So uh, we're having issues with that. I also told you, I believe, that my son was in jail, got put in jail. Well, up till last week, uh, well, up till two days ago, he's been in jail. Over a year and a half. Uh, all, I can't go into it, and I won't, but I'll tell you this much. I told you last time, he's innocent. I know he's innocent. I know the situation. My boy is innocent, period. However, the whole trial, the whole trial was just a big, large, he said, she said. So anyway... He got 50 years in prison. I would be 100 plus years old, and so would my wife, before he was eligible for parole. Needless to say, um, we're devastated. We got called yesterday and told that they transferred him to uh, El Dorado, and he's in, he's in uh, it's a processing center. It's a prison, but it's a processing center. So he's there today. Today's his first day there. Um, it's not setting well. We are looking at going to the Kansas Supreme Court with the case because there were things that were not issued in that should have been. He had a very crappy lawyer. We were very upset about that. We had people that aren't family go up and say how terrible they felt. And they said it to the judge in front of everybody. They walked up because people had a right to say something. They walked up and said what a terrible job the lawyer did representing him. Another person went up and said they was do, she was doing a terrible job. And at one point, she was watching and the lawyer was shopping on Amazon on her phone while the cross-examining person was talking to my son. And she wasn't even listening to it. So anyway, it's a big deal. It's a, it's a bad deal. There was a lot of evidence that cost us a lot of money to have brought forth and pay for. And uh, it never even got submitted in court. So we're furious. We're taking this further. We're not going to lay down and, uh, or roll over on this situation. My son's life and his boy's life are very, very affected by this. Uh, so we're grieving. Whether it sounds to you guys like it's something I shouldn't care about or I should or I should just get over, I'm not getting over it. It's horrible. I cannot fathom not having my son around me anymore and I can't fathom his boy not having his dad with him being raised with stepkids uh, that are very very worldly uh, that know way too much that they should know because they have phones and their mom doesn't care it's a bad thing 
okay? And uh, golly, it, it's, it's just is what it is, all right? Plus, my sister and brother-in-law had moved here this year from, I think I told you last year, but they were going to be moving here to Kansas from Missouri, and they didn't weren't able to find property or anything to build their house on, so we gave them a, a piece of property that we have. We just deeded it over to them. Now they've got their house built, and they're working on that, and we're trying to help in every way we can. And um, the thing is really cool because they're very close, so I get to see them every day if I want. But uh, they're very upset about my son Coulter, and uh, we are too. So we're really struggling. It's been a very hard year for us. My daughter is in college. She's a few hours away, and we have to help her out, you know, financially. Um, she does have a job. She's got a very impressive job. She works for the state. We're, we just love her to pieces, but she needs more help than she's getting uh, to make it through this uh, this four-year college stuff to get her degree. And... Uh, it's in biology. Um, she'll be dealing with wildlife and nature things. Um, she'll be dealing with lakes and fishes and wells in the ground throughout Kansas, all kinds of stuff. It, it's really amazing, and she's been doing a lot. She's been well testing half the stupid state already. Uh, so she's doing a lot. We're very proud of her. Uh, my other boy is becoming a mechanic. I'm proud of him, too. Right now he's in uh, Nevada at uh, some type of car show for mechanics. Uh, some, I shouldn't say car show, some kind of mechanic stuff to do with cars. <clears throat> um, so right now, literally, he's there in Nevada. When he wants to come home, that's up to him, but the road he took, the 70, is closed. I-70 is closed from here to Colorado. Too much snow. They have it all closed. There's trucks galore terrible amount of trucks on their sides because they slid off the road all kinds of stuff so the highway is a disaster so we told him to get up go further than he has to but go north and get on 80 and then take 80 down through nebraska and then come on back to our house where he always drove his direction to get here from nebraska when he was living there so that's kind of what's going on uh I miss you guys a lot. I really miss hearing from you. There's a, a couple of people, and I don't mean this in a bad way. There's a couple of people that just haven't been talking to me that uh, I care about dearly, very, very much. And I, we all have our lives. I know that. And I haven't been here, so don't chew me out. I understand that. But these people have my personal phone number and address, and I still haven't heard from them. Um, and that's okay. Uh, that's okay. But I'm hoping that through the video, they'll, you know, like, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'd like to hear from them. I'd like to hear from all you guys. I miss you guys so much. I honestly do. Um, so I'm going to try to get my act together. I'm just going to ask you to continue to be patient. I'm sorry. If you don't want to be, I totally get it. I'm not saying I'm not going to make another video for a year. I'm just saying I'm trying to get my act together. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. And money... Uh, <sighs> Money is gushing out of our pockets. We are really having a hard time financially, extremely, and we still have to pay. I can't tell you how much it is. It's ridiculous. For my son's commissaries, for his anything. If he needs a book, we got to buy it and have it shipped there. He can't do it. There's just a ton of stuff. His phone calls, oh, my gosh. We have to pay a separate account for every phone number that he wants to call. And we have to pay for it. It's just there's a ton. Uh, there's just a lot. And they're going to move him two to three hours away from here. So we're only going to be able to see him once or twice a month. Um, but we've been talking to him through a window for the last year and a half. So at least in prison, it can be a face-to-face -face and what they call a contact visit. In other words, I can get up off the, off the uh, table bench that we're sitting at and go over and give him a hug. So, I mean, that's, that'll be great. I have not been able it's, it's been, it's been waving in a window and talking on a telephone through a window to him like you see on TV, only it's worse than that because you're in a little concrete four-by-four four room that is echoing like crazy. You can't hear a dang thing, even though you got the phone to your ear. Um, but I'm very proud of him, 
he uh, became what they by he was voted by the prisoners, the support staff like the dispatchers and stuff, and all the sheriffs, all the all the deputy sheriffs. They all voted him to be a um, what do they call it? They call it a uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Basically, it's just a, pr- a prisoner that has a lot of rights. They don't even keep his cell locked. They don't keep his cell locked. He gets out when he was there. He just left yesterday. But the whole year and a half he's been there, he's been getting out, making everybody dinner. He cleans the sheriff's office. He goes out to the trash can, and he's not even monitored on video. He goes out to the trash and dumps the trash and then comes back in and does whatever they want and what are pretty much whatever he wants when he gets bored. So um, he enjoys making dinner with one of the other sheriffs, uh, deputy sheriffs that are there. Uh, they work together frequently making dinner for the inmates that are all there. And uh, I can't remember what that stupid name is. I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, oh, uh, well, forget it. Anyway, it's fair. It's good enough just to say that everybody really, really, really liked him there, and they totally trusted him. Um so, yeah, uh, that's kind of where we're at. I don't want to ramble. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I'm missing that I'm not telling you guys. Uh, my wife got in another accident. I shouldn't say another. I'm sorry. Our, my wife's going to hear this. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to say that. But my wife got in an accident, okay? And uh, we uh, had to buy a new car. So there's we are the cars paid off. <laughs> We've been out of debt uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, only have a few debts left, but they're big. I think two. But anyway, we had to buy a new car. So we bought a new, to us, used car that was a 2000, I think it's a 2017 or 19 um, Buick Enclave. Anyway, it's real nice. This thing is clean. This thing's like factory clean. Just amazing. The mileage is good. Um Beautiful car on the inside. It's, it's all black on the outside, but it's gorgeous on the inside. Um, so anyway, we, we did that. So now that's another car payment every month that we weren't paying for the last few years. So um, anyway, I feel like we're just hemorrhaging money. And I'm not asking for any money, so don't get any ideas. Um, you know, that's that's just where we're at, you know, we're... We're trying our best uh, to keep afloat, and um, we're praying the Lord supplies everything we need while we do this. And he has been. He has definitely been supplying our needs. Um, So that's it, I guess. Uh, I guess I've talked long enough. Um, I really miss you guys. I love you guys a lot, and I just so miss talking to you. I really do. So. I have to say, oh, yes, I have to say, you know, on my page there now, I'll try to get to it sometime this week, next week, I don't know, I don't really care, but I'll get to it. But there's a link at the top of my page, as you guys know, for my email, which is Proton uh, Proton Mail, and my address was kansasprepper at proton.com. Somebody hiked my, hijacked my account, they closed my account, they won't let me create a new account. I've written many letters telling them that I have never used the account for anything but you guys. And anyway, they close it. So I don't have that email. I will get another email. I have one. I will get another email up on the website as soon as I can on my page, you know, on your YouTube. And I'll replace that Proton. Don't write Proton because I won't even know that you wrote. And you won't get an answer. And I don't ignore people. My friends that have talked to me a lot, they know I'm not going to ignore them. I will get back with you. But I do have to put a new address there. So don't use Proton Mail. Um, I'll get my other address up there quickly, as soon as I can, okay? Gosh darn it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, so very much, for my friends that are on here that know me. And uh, thank you for sticking with me. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope that my page will channel will continue to grow. I hope that you guys will, if you, if this is new to you and you're just hearing from the sky, these whining about money, um, <laughs> and you can handle it, please let your friends know about my channel. Please uh, subscribe. 
Um, I will get back on the video making soon, okay? Really, I'm really going to try hard, all right? So please don't leave. Please subscribe if you're new. Um, tell your friends about the channel. It is on preparedness. Um, that's what this channel's about, and Jesus. You know, if you don't want to hear anything about Jesus, you definitely don't want to subscribe to my channel. So, anyway, it'll be about our Lord, and it will also be a lot about prepping. Um, it always has been, and everyone here knows that. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, okay? And I'm not ashamed of Christ. So, you, that gets talked on here. I'm not preaching to people, but that gets talked about here. It's just the way I am. Anyway, God bless you guys. I'll shut up. Um, I'm motor mouth because I haven't got to talk to you guys in so long. So, I hope to hear from you, okay? <sighs> Thank you for putting up with me over a year. Thank you so much for putting up with me, and we'll talk to you later. See you guys. Bye-bye.